What's going on everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm gonna go over all of the leaked team builders in Madden 22 guys. So Mutt Leaks is back at Mutt Leaks 22. Shout out for the leak. Um, he's starting early already. Uh, maybe not early but he's starting right. Usually Mutt Leaks is known for dropping a bunch of exactly like this. Just dropping a bunch of content right before the game drops as well as throughout the year. So He's back in action. He's going through the, the database or whatever he goes through through to files and getting a good look at what will be coming out. So as you can see here, these are all in the 63. So I think they are missing one potentially. Maybe I'm counting wrong, but there's apparently 63 here. So point is excited to go through all these. Obviously, based on this picture, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna keep it completely honest with you guys. I don't recognize every single person on this list, nor do probably a lot of people. But I do have a list of names which I will go through shortly. But for going into the video, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad to have a chance at being shouted out. Today's Poodle Squad shout out to Joe Little. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you for being a part of the Poodle Squad and showing support each and every day. Well, let's get into this. So, guys, as you guys can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have about that comes out to 56, but there also is a list. So we're going to go through all those in just a second. But 63, sorry. Not 56, 63. Disregard that. But going on into this, I see Jalen Smith went off the bat. I recognize a few guys here, as you guys probably do as well. Now, team builders are usually pretty fun, guys. Like 84-ish overalls. You guys know the deal with team builders. Um, they end up building up the team diamonds, team diamonds too team masters you guys know this go theme diamonds you know the whole thing just keep it going and going that's typically how this end s promo ish part of the game goes now they're usually pretty good now to get these sometimes you can play solos and get one for free sometimes you have to play 16 game series and then get them there's always different ways to get these guys as you guys probably saw from the stream for the way you do it this year now i'm gonna head to the list and go through them all and then i'm gonna show you guys who are my favorite ones right here so here i'm gonna read you the list we have aj Epens epinesa we got Andres Pete, disregard if I pronounce any of these names wrong, Anthony Barr, Antonio Gibson, Benardrick McKinney, Ben Powers, Cam Newton, Carlos Dunlap, C.D. Lamb, Chase Claypool, C.J. Ham, Connor McGovern, Cortland Sutton, Dallas Goddard, DeAndre Swift, Darnell Savage, David Njoku, Debo Samuel, Denzel Perryman, Derek Barnett, Deshaun Jackson, Devin Singletary, and Devon Kennard. I'm going to go column by column. And go through who are my favorites. So on this list alone, guys, Deshaun Jackson's one of the best ones. He's gonna have an 89 speed, which means he's as fast as Tyreek Kill. He won't route run or catch as well, but he's gonna do the exact job of just going deep, taking drags to distance. You know, that's kind of what you want these guys for. So Deshaun Jackson's gonna be a definitely a budgety esque speed beast to start the year. Debo Samuel, another one with like an 87, 88 speed, gonna be really good to start the year. David Njoku was like an 84 speed, 83. So another good tight end to start the year as well. Darnell Savage, free safety for the Packers. is going to be a really good budget beast as well. I don't think we've actually seen his card yet. I'm pretty sure. But I know Darnell Savage always has a ton of speed. So excited for that. Um, Chase Claypool obviously is decent. Not going to be anything crazy. CD Lamb actually had like an 87 speed. So really good, especially for Cowboys fans. And these cards, of course, are good for a lot of theme teams. So if you're looking into building a theme team, this is definitely the list you want to be focusing on because these are the players that are going to be specific to teams. And being able to match up with the captains as well as the you know masters, you can have a pretty. You could probably start a pretty decent theme team to start the year, at least for most teams. Some will have absolutely no one, but most more than not will have something. Uh, Cam Newton could be fun. I don't think he's going to be a great one. And then Anthony Barr has decent speed. I mean, nothing crazy there. Next on the list, guys, we have Fabian Morrow, Jack Doyle, Janoris Jenkins, Jawan Taylor, Jalen Smith, Jeremiah Owusu, something, Jesse Davis, Jonathan Jones, Justin Britt, Justin Fields. Justin Herbert, a lot of Justins, Keith Smith, Kelvin Beecham Jr., Quiddy Payne, Quiddy Pay, sorry, Kyle Long, Landon Collins, Levi Onwuziri, it's blurry, I can't even read it, Legere Sneed, Lorenzo Carter, Lucas Patricks, Malcolm Jenkins, Matt Paredes, and Maurice Hurst. So right there off the bat, Lorenzo Carter for the Giants should have some pretty decent speed. He typically does in reg roster, so not a bad outside linebacker option there. Legere Sneed, we did see he's a really good one, great speed. Legere Sneed cards always have a lot of speed. I believe he was a rookie last year. So look out for Snead as a definitely as a budget beast. Uh, Landon Collins was not that great at all. Kyle Long's a guard. You know, you could maybe if there's some free ones you can get from playing just solos, you can always stack up on a lineman here and just take a pretty solid O line to start the year. Uh, especially with next gen stats, O line should be a bit more valuable than having years past. Hopefully, Justin Herbert could have an arm to start. Same with Fields. Uh, Fields will have some speed at least. Jonathan Jones should be decent. Jalen Smith, as you guys know, I mean linebackers suck last year, so we can't really get hyped about linebackers just yet, but. If anything tells me, if you know, if anything changes a little bit, Jalen's a decent one with decent speed. Fabian Moore should have decent speed as well. And for the final edge of this list, we have Nasir Adderley, Nick Martin, OJ Howard, 
Pernell McPhee, Robert Quinn, Robert Spillane, Sam Hubbard, Sean Murphy Bunting, Sebastian Joseph Day, Shamar Steven, and Shaq Lawson. Shaq Lawson should be decent. Um, Robert Quinn as well. OJ Howard should have some speed. I can see him like an 83 speed, decent S tight end. This year, Adderley probably won't be too great either. So like I said, my favorite ones on this list by far is probably going to be Deshaun Jackson's probably the best one on this list. Darnell Savage. Deshaun Jackson and Darnell Savage are probably top five. Once I do see ratings, I probably will go ahead and uh, make a rankings list once we have all the ratings for these guys. Probably with the database. There's going to be some great budget beasts from here. I already, I already know budget beasts are going to be at an all-time high from these because that's kind of what these are. These cards are usually great budget beasts. But again, we have to always check and go through and make sure we're seeing the whole picture because, of course, right now these are just names. Madden could easily just completely kill someone stats-wise. Like, they could give Justin Fields... They can give Justin Fields, like, an 87 speed, right? And be like, wow, that's a good quarterback. Or they can give Justin Herbert a 90 throw power. Or they can give Deshaun Jackson 89 speed. Or they can give a guy like Swift, like, an 82 speed. And you're like, ah, oh, he's worthless. Sometimes they surprise us in a good and bad way. So that remains to be seen. But otherwise, I'm excited for this leak right here. So you guys can see here, these were all the players I just read off to you. There's two per team. There's going to be a defensive and offensive per team. It's like for the Giants on defense, we have Lorenzo Carter uh, right there, I believe. And then I forgot who was the other Giant. I forgot. Uh, I'm, I'm blanking right now on who the other Giant was. Disregard me, guys. Been a long day. Uh, DeAndre Swift should be on here somewhere. But I mean, again, if you're if these are one of your home teams, you will more or less know. I'm not the best with jersey numbers. I'm going to keep it honest once again with you guys. Not great at jersey numbers. I think that's Antonio Gibson right there. And then Fabian, uh, that's Landon Collins. I know a few. Nasir Adderley somewhere on here as well. But guys, that's pretty much it for the video. This is all. Comment down below who's your favorite one. Like, who's your who are your home team guys? Let me know down below. Say your team, like, say, uh, you know, I'm the Giants, Lorenzo Carter, and the other one. Or say, I'm, you know, I'm the Washington football team. I want Gibson. Let me know down below who your home teams are so I can get an idea. Of, a lot of you subs have been returning every day. So let me know who your favorite teams are as well as which players you're excited for. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to join the Poodle Squad with a like and comment down below Poodle Squad. Make sure to like the video in general, guys. It helps out a ton. You guys went crazy on this morning's video with like 45 likes. The video is doing great. So guys, real quick, I did have a few other videos planned for today and tomorrow. But because of this drop, this will be altering things a bit. So if you guys are looking for the best way to build your no money spent team, that will be releasing tomorrow probably. So stay tuned for that video. That was supposed to go up probably right about now, but then this leak came out. Uh, if you guys were asking about the database, which is the database of all the stats and ratings of all the Ultimate Team players, pretty much like Mudhead, what would that be releasing? That typically drops, last year dropped like two days before the game came out, but we're thinking we're thinking Monday or Tuesday with the game releasing, I believe, on Wednesday. So Monday, it, I mean, at this point, it has to be pretty much Monday, I'd, I'd imagine. I doubt it'll be Sunday. And if it's Tuesday, then that's the night before, which kind of does suck for uh, a lot of reasons, including I was planning on making videos for you guys, but... Nonetheless, hopefully we get that in a timely matter and we get to use it because that's always a good way because you can start building your budget squad. I, I usually do it on paper. I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm getting him. These are all the budget beasts. These are all the top meta players. I usually write them all down and kind of make a list of how I plan to build my team. And a lot of people will probably appreciate it of being able to go ahead and do that as well. But yeah, that's about it for that. I greatly appreciate you guys for that. And make sure to subscribe. We actually grown a bit today. So let's keep it up. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.